Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming my 2021 goals slash new year's resolutions. I literally thought that I was going to say 2020 because when I was planning this video I always kept saying 2020 instead of 2021. I even wrote it in my little notes and had to cross it out but yeah. Oh and again beeping is still going from the battery. We will change the battery off the alarm shortly but today's video i am going to be talking about my goals for 2021 there won't be that many this video hopefully won't be too long but i did one last year doing one this year my previous video was comparing last year's goals to what actually happened which was quite interesting to do so i thought i would just list in this video my goals for this year and things that i want to achieve or just carry on doing first of all i've got my little list the first one is to continue intuitive eating. Now, I don't know if I discussed this towards the end of last year. I kind of stopped with the whole calorie deficit thing and I wasn't really bothered about that or losing weight or anything like that because I suddenly started to realise that actually, you know, focusing too much on calories and too much on like what's in your food does actually take up quite a lot of headspace and quite a lot of your thoughts for the, for the day and I just didn't like that. So I try to just not think about it and I try to eat as healthy as possible through my day, try and eat when I'm hungry but not necessarily when I think I'm hungry, if you know what I mean, like I just try and not think about it because if you don't think about food you just, it's like you're less likely to just snack on random things and also I try and just keep myself busy so just to continue intuitive eating, being healthy, that kind of thing. The next kind of point was to work out and try and gain some muscle so I want to continue with my workouts this year I really love workouts my friend Steph got me some resistance bands for Christmas which was really useful so I'm really enjoying using them at the minute and yeah I like the resistance bands and I just want to gain a little bit of muscle just to be a little bit stronger muscle in my arms mainly because they are very weak what's up maybe just my face is a little bit shiny sorry about that but yeah, so I just thought I would mention that kind of fitness goals wise, I'm not like wanting to lose weight like I did last year. Obviously last year I lost two stone. I don't really bothered about that this year. I just want to get a little bit healthier and gain a little bit of muscle and just carry on as I have been, to, if I'm honest. Try and eat, you know, a few more vegetables. My next goal is to post two videos a week and put full effort into my channel because this is my hobby this is what i enjoy i get a little bit of money from it which is useful very much right now two videos a week i'm going to be posting or i plan to anyway on a wednesday and a friday which means that i can film on a monday edit on a tuesday upload on a wednesday film on a wednesday edit on a thursday and upload on a friday which means i've got a saturday and sunday free and it just means i'm more excited to film the videos when the time comes to film them like now and also i'm not kind of stressed out with it and i have more time to do things like uni and like important things like that so i just thought i would mention that and i want to make them a little bit better quality the less videos i film the better quality they can be the more planned out they are right you know i've literally got a little plan of each video and just to kind of film what i want to film but also what other people want to watch based on the views that they get but i'm not actually the kind of person that's bothered by views the next one is like goal is to try harder with my skincare business and release more products than i did the previous year so if you didn't already know i have a little skincare business i will link down my etsy and ebay in the description if you want to go and check it out i have four products currently i've got my tea tree clay face mask which is personally my favorite product that i I have my lemon scented cleansing balm my pure tea tree oil and also my hydrating gel moisturizer so those are the products that I brought out last year when I first started the business which was last year in February they're the products that I came out with last year this year I've got so many ideas of things I want to do different varied things this month January I have a product coming out hopefully as long as everything goes how it's meant to and it's a little bit different to the sort of skincare products that I've got at the minute but it's still you know in the same sort of theme but it's not a skincare product for your face or anything but I'm excited for that so I've got loads of ideas and I just want to put full effort in try my best I enjoy doing it and I've organized a cupboard my understairs cupboard is now my products cupboard because I've got so many ingredients packaging everything I just needed a whole cupboard to, like understairs cupboard to itself um, and I did also find my scissors as well I cut my hair a bit shorter I trimmed off about that much and it's still really long so um 
confusing but yeah it was pretty long so I did actually cut my hair because I found my hairdressing scissors that I hadn't managed to find for well over a year so that was good remember to check out the description box for that if you want to go and follow me on my Facebook group or my Instagram group then you can do that's also linked in the description okay next goal that I've written down says keep super organized and clean with my flat over the past year and a bit I've become a lot more like into a routine of things and a lot more enjoying like tidying and organizing and keeping things clean I've got a whole like cupboard full of skincare, uh, skincare cupboard full of cleaning products and I just enjoy the like process of cleaning things and things smelling nice I've got loads of sprays and things and just want everything to be tidy and just to do a few bits and bobs so yeah I just want to keep on top of that and I know I will because once I've got into a routine I struggle to get out of that routine so well, I know I'll be fine with that one but we'll see next year when I review this year like I did in my previous video next one says to stay connected with friends I think this is one that's just something that I didn't mention in the last year's one but it's also something that I think is actually really important so I would say that I want to try and just message people I wouldn't normally message say how are you doing that kind of thing because obviously people have had a hard year this year and or last year and you just want to make sure that everyone's okay and just make sure that I'm messaging people just to ask if they're okay or just to you know see how they're doing because especially if you can't meet up with them it's good to stay connected so I'm going to try and do that at um, a little bit more this year and, and just remember to do that because sometimes you get you know you do go about your day you don't necessarily think to message that person um or you know whatever you're doing so I think it's good to remind yourself about that okay I've got two more second to last one is to make sure that I'm happy this is the most important one like whatever you do in life you just have to make sure that you're happy because what is the point if you're not happy you have to try and make the best out of every single situation and try and stay positive with everything I know it's hard sometimes with a lot of things but you know that doesn't mean that you are going to be happy you just have to try and be the happiest that you can be with the situation that's occurred I'm not saying make yourself happy I'm saying you just try and look on the, the the most positive things that you can do to make things the best that they can if you know what I mean so that's what my goal is just to be as happy as possible focus on myself and my mental health and everything like that that was one of my last year's one as well focus on my mental health and just make sure that you're focusing on what makes you happy doing small things that make you happy like for me making a cup of tea even tidying like making everything really tidy I make lists every day because that makes me happy to accomplish things so just little things like that that you maybe wouldn't even think um, to do or plan things to look forward to that kind of thing and my final one is to try and focus on money which is funny because um, I've not been the greatest with money last year I have been over the past few months I don't have like loads of money so I have to budget my money and try and save as much as possible I do have more now um, than I did before and I get more YouTube money and more sales of my products and stuff but I'm actually gonna use the profits from my products to try and save up for a holiday at the end of the year wherever that may be or camping or whatever I don't care but that's what I'm going to do I'm going to set that aside but I'm just going to try and not waste my money on things but also spend it on things that I know I'm really going to enjoy so for example if I think oh yeah I really like that that's going to make bring me joy every day then I'll get it something like that so I'm not just going to waste it and think oh yeah I'll just get that for the sake of it like if I really like it and if it's going to make me happy every day then I will get that I think that's all my goals I think my main goals for this year is my skincare business if I'm completely honest I didn't put anything on here about uni that's hilarious I don't really have any goals to do with that we'll just forget about that one now I'm joking hopefully I'll do all right in uni as well but we'll see about that and um, but yeah I think the main one is the skincare business one working out trying to gain some muscle and focusing on money and making sure I'm happy so we will see next year if I've completed this when I do my like yearly roundup and review of the year and comparing it to what I actually achieved so I'll watch this video back next year and I'll see if I actually achieved all of these things who knows maybe I won't achieve one thing which will be quite annoying because that means that I won't be happy because that's one of my things but that is the end of this video hopefully you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe i do have another video coming on friday so in a couple of days time and if i check my like little list 
next the next video is how i weekly plan so i thought that'd be a good video to you know add into january how i weekly plan staying organized that kind of thing so that's coming on friday um but yeah please subscribe and i will see you in my next video goodbye